Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On this week's video, I am going to update my mantle and make it feel like fall. I'm ready for cozy in my living room. So I'm either going to use some leftovers from my Hobby Lobby buy last week, thrift store finds, or a couple of items that my friend gave to me for free. So if you want to see how it turns out, stick around. First things first, I need to clear out this area and give this mirror a good cleaning. Do any of you guys use Norwex products? I am loving them. So this is my inspiration. I saw it at Hobby Lobby. Fall is proof that change is beautiful and it just inspired me. So it was around, let's just say $40 and 40% off. And while that was an okay price, it looks store bought. So I went to my basement and got these scrap pieces of wood and just pre-stained them with gel stain. This is probably a step I could have skipped, but I wanted to make sure if I distressed it, it didn't look like brand new wood underneath. So I basically used this gel stain which is great for baskets and anything that you want to kind of change the tone of and watered it down a little bit so it wouldn't sink in so much and then wiped it back and did this to all three of these pieces just so that there was an age underneath when I painted it. I was going to build a frame for this but decided against it so I did end up making sure that the sides were painted and stained as well as the back because I'm leaning this up against a mirror and I don't want raw wood reflecting in the mirror. Don't forget the reflection. So I got these letters. Uh, they were $1.99 at Michael's and I got 25% off and I sanded them down and painted them this beautiful yellow color that matches the stuff from my video last week. And I'm really happy with how, it, how well it goes with the pre-existing pumpkins I had from last week. So I designed these graphics on Canva, which is just a website that I used to do my YouTube thumbnails. I was gonna do it on the Cricut, but Quite honestly, I did not like the font that I had to choose from and this just seemed like a really easy way to do it. I printed it out a couple times to make sure it was the size that I wanted and then just grabbed this graphite paper. I have had this graphite paper for like eight years so once you get this pack it pretty much lasts forever. And just go over it with a pencil and that gives you this nice little outline to then use your paint pen on. And I just got this paint pen from Walmart. This is the medium. I probably could have used the fine tip for those smaller letters, um, but I'm going in real mo real speed right here so you can see how careful and slow tempoed you need to go. I won't make you watch it all in this speed, but I just wanted you to watch. You just, you're careful and the result is pretty pretty great and it doesn't look like you bought it at a store.
I glued it with E6000. I could have done a hot glue gun, but have learned in the past that I am a little more specific. And if I don't have the chance to nudge it a little, I could rip the letters or the wood underneath. So I like E6000 because it doesn't dry for like 24 hours. And as you can see, it's on there, but I have the option to put them all on there together and um, move them around for a little while. And that's just how I work. If you can want to measure and put it in the exact right place, hot glue would totally work. I found this form for 99 cents at the Dollar Tree. And I had been looking around all the craft stores for a fall type ribbon that wasn't too crazy. And then I found this garland at Hobby Lobby, uh, $15.99 and then it's 40% off. And I thought I could probably get multiple projects out of this. And I really liked how it looked like vintage fabric and what I really wanted to do is like this little zigzag pattern here on the wreath and use the whole thing. I didn't want to get any wire or sewing involved in this and the hot glue was not going to hold this particular shape. I tried, it didn't work. So I decided just to go straight around in a line. Let me know what you think. Had some more pumpkins in my stash. $2 a piece at the thrift store. Probably bought them about four months ago because you can't find them now in the thrift stores. But just wanted to have a good color story going on and just use the same paint as I did on the fall letters. This wreath was leftover from a thrift flip I did in last week's video. And I just thought there were too many colors in it. So I tried to use, I just pulled it out and tried to use a couple of the ones that I had and make them all go the same direction. In the end, I wasn't feeling it, but it was worth a try. And if you like this kind of thing, cool. It's an idea that just because you get it one way doesn't mean you have to keep everything in it and every color in it sometimes less is better. So now I'm using the leftovers from the bunch I took apart in last week's video and trying to put it in a smaller circular motion. Didn't really like that either. So decided to, cause this is more of an oval than round. So I decided to do a different arrangement. Let me know what you think.
Now I'm going to show you a little bit of my process. I try all kinds of ways and I don't want you guys to feel discouraged if you try it and it doesn't look right because I usually try it for like 10 to 15 minutes before I'm happy with it and I would even come back later and change things. So I hope you enjoy watching me in the process and I would like to know how many of you are talking to me while I'm doing this and telling me to move stuff. <laughs> I think that would be funny. Let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for this week's video friends what was your favorite project i would love to know in the comments below also were you talking to me when i was doing the mantle let me know what you would have done also thank you so much for your support if you like this video i would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and were you inspired to create your own cozy in your home i sure do hope so i will see you again next week friends bye